Yo, we doing this? Can y'all hear me? Make sure the bag is in a way to where it gets good ventilation, but also nothing falls out. This is like, so I don't know if you guys, fuck it, dude, let's just go, man. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll show y'all on the way. I gotta get on the bike weird because of the uh, helmet mount. But I got y'all, uh, this is not like the GoPro. I have y'all mounted on the side of my helmet. We're, uh, we're leaving the nest. This is the start. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be either great or a disaster. <laughs> it's gonna be one or the other. So, you guys know, uh, Pokemon, right? The first gen? This is probably well known by now. But the map for the first three Pokemon games is based on, loosely based on, Kanto area. So Kanto literally means like the eastern part of Japan, okay? So in order to get this melon Slurpee, I basically have to go to like, Lavender Town. The weather feels about as good as you could ask for. I'll say that. I got my helmet on, got the sunglasses ready for when the, when the sun peaks out. It's supposed to be good weather. Uh, and I'm basically like, man, fuck it, we're gonna go till the batteries run out. And if it's before our goal, we'll, uh, I'll pop a squat for a night, let the batteries charge, and we'll boot it up, the, boot it up as soon as they're ready. I'm not tired, it's more like, uh, nervous, excited, stressed, and then, like, the weather's good, so the, the wind's hitting my lungs. <gasps> let me tell you something, man, a long time ago, I used to live in, like, Persona 4 Village in East Japan, okay? There was the the most if you if you look on the YouTube, there's an Obama Tales about uh what's the name of the video? I think it's like teaching English in Japan, something like that. But I show you the 7-Eleven I used to go to by the beach in Persona 4 Town. And one of the craziest things to me was when I first went there, they had Slurpees. And they had like forbidden Slurpee flavors. Like melon, we're talking melon, cola, like wild cherry, the standards, but then they had shit like melon, they had like wild mango, all kind of crazy shit. The problem is, I can't find another fucking Slurpee machine in Tokyo. So, what we're doing is, I'm going all the way back to where I first landed here. I'm leaving Tokyo, we're going all the way fucking back, we're going to that beach, we're going to the 7-Eleven by the beach, getting a melon Slurpee, and clocking out. Alright, so this is Harvey. We're uh, one island away. I would love to move to this island specifically. It's kind of expensive, but to me, this is like, this is a really nice area. I like this. Like an apartment here, you know? Hey, if I scratch my nuts and smell my hand, can you guys see that? This, this island to me, this one got the view. That's where we were for New Year's, looking at the sun in that direction. But this is Toyosu and Harumi. These apartment buildings, like getting in one of these would be so sick. Just like, look at this shit. The view you have. Like I said, this is the hardest part. This is why I wanted to leave early. The hardest part is getting out the city. You clear the city, you can win. What about, oh shit, you, you know what? You know what this area is unironic, it, it's actually called this. This place is called Pallet Town. The Ferris wheel, you guys can see it, right? We're right by the park. <sighs> Man, I'm just thinking, bro, I'm thinking about, ooh, I'm thinking about the trip, triple fisting the Slurpee and walking on the beach. Oh, now I know we're, you know how I know we're in the country now? You know how I know we're out the city? Cause I looked up and there was a fucking, half dollar size bumblebee in the fucking sky. This shit is crazy. It's like earthbound, bro. Like, you gotta be, you gotta have experience points to deal with just basic nature out here. And we run right into Nishifuna. Once we hit Nishifuna, man, I just looked at, <laughs> I just zoomed out on the map. Holy shit, bro, we made like no progress. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Damn, that's crazy. It's not looking good, boys. God damn. It's not looking good. 
You know what it is? It's like uh, I'm looking at a, a huge chunk of the map. I used to live there and I used to bike there a lot. So in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that's just from there to there. Oh yeah, that's just from there to there. But then I add it, but like when you add it all up, it becomes a lot. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. We're on the road to Funabashi. Should be close, like less than five kilometers, probably. The home center. In good ways, I said. Oh shit! Bro, these fucking insects, bro. Now I remember why I hate this place. Man, I'm, you know, now that we're like on the road, we're in it. I'm a fucking idiot. This shit is crazy. <laughs> This is how a lot of these areas look. The more, the further you get out, it's just like houses, apartments, and then you see some of these businesses and you're like, how is this place in business? Like they don't even look like people go there. It's how a lot of the country is outside Tokyo. The sun! Praise the sun! Do I have some water? Hell yeah, I got water, man. You know we stay, you know we stay dripping. Man, I have no idea where the fuck I am. Ooh, woo. The fuck y'all think they do in this bar? Barbero Barrow? With the tongue out? Nasty. Hey, y'all want to go to Girls Bar Homies? <laughs> Girls Bar Homie. <laughs> Girls Bar Homie, right? I forgot how nasty this motherfucker is. Right. Girls Bar Homie right here, right? Girls Bar, you know. And then you got Blue Hawaii Thai Massage selling Aroma Body Course 30 minutes for 4,000 yen. What the fuck do you think they're doing in there? Premium Parlor? Look. Somebody tell Rack, Innocent Raccoon. Rack, I know your bitch ass never leave in Chicago. But look, if I ever catch your bitch ass at any of these little signs with the pink shops in front of me, I'm going to beat your ass, Raccoon. You know you got no business being in any of them places with the pink signs. Oh, Shabuta. This used to be na a, little, a little nasty shop, too. Because they used to have a man outside trying to sell you pussy. That's how you know. <laughs> but, motherfucker, uh, bruh. See, they cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> they cleaned it up. Hmm. If I can find a manga cafe in Tsudanuma, I'll probably pop a squat there for a while. And then boot up later. But before we do, we can do some sad boy shit if y'all want. There's an arcade I used to go to a lot. And I promise you, I, I'm pretty sure if we go there now, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Y'all want to get sad boy real quick? Let me see if I can even bring this. I wonder if I can even like bring this in there. My lose signal. Or it might uh, it might drop bitrate for a little bit. But Y'all want to try it? How many miles so far? Bro, I I'm, I ain't even counting, man. Ain't, I, look, miles done. Miles to go. I just know why I ain't got a slurpee yet. You know? Stream might go down. This is the first floor. This is just how it, so far, pretty normal. The second floor is where this place used to blow up. Yeah, it's just crane games, some racing games and shit down here. This is all new though. It looks mad new. Bro, it looks completely different. What happened? What happened? This used to be a paradise. Bro. If you go pull up the Umbrella Man video, this was the staircase. You come up the staircase, there used to just be fighting games row by row. It used to be wall to wall, bro. This shit is crazy. Bro, type in arcades in Japan. Game, pseudonym game makes. Look at that video and then look at the, how this looks now. This is crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this, it's like, this used to be 
a place. There's a lot of fake go cameras, but like, this used to be a paradise. Now, it's just like a no, it's like a no pants dream, dream room. It's crazy. Like no, it's like no pants in Mogu's Wonderland. It's all no pants games. It's all no pants games. What have they done to my boy? We could play, we could do VSAV for the one, but I guess the vampire guys, they still come here, but what have they done to my boy, bro? This used to be like some shit out of a storybook. No pants is, no pants and his people ruined all of this shit. I'm gonna do this out of respect. Out of respect for the warriors that used to gather here. If you from Hook Gang Guys Discord, someone like you can never understand. I gotta drop one. I gotta drop one out of respect. Oh. What have they done to my boy? What? I can't, I don't know how to make you understand, bro. We used to have like legit warriors. And now, it's all new pants games. Ooh. Oh, damn, I forgot to lock up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's nasty out here. Club Oak, look at these nasty motherfuckers. They know, they know, they know. <laughs> they know. <sighs> From here, check it out. We hit this corner, boom. Man, this brings back memories. This was, this was hustle era Majin Amon. This is like teaching, running excerpt shit. Oh damn, uh, Evo, sure, yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 shittiest part of the ride. This is nasty little sidewalk. Yep, yep, yep. It's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. This is from a completely different lifetime ago. That's insane. You know the person that did this. You know they had a little too much fun with that last bit. I don't even know what to expect past a certain point, man. Once we get like... Once we get into like past Usui... I don't think I've ever ridden that far. There's like a huge gap where I've never ridden a bike there. I don't even know what to expect. Let's uh, let's take it one step at a time. Let's take it one step at a time. Y'all wanna uh, sad boy a little bit? We could sad boy and maybe go bowling, ironically. So this place, this place used to be a hot spot for Exert on Friday nights, man. Let me show you something. This this was where? This is where the Bedman was honed. On Friday nights, bruh. Cat's Eye Midori Galka. Don't make you sad, bro. It's not me. It's not me. It's just uh, it's the reality. It's the world we live in. PVP zone, bro. You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, he used to go down here, bro. Friday nights. What about the axle, bro? I, you say that in jest, but kind of actually, because they had everything in here. CBS2, Melty, ST, Third Strike, BB, Tekken, Tekken Tag Two, Tekken Seven, Vanilla. Me, first time I played Tekken Seven, I was here. This arcade, they had everything in here. And now watch. <laughs> Now, now watch. We going to Cat's Eye, Midori Gauka. We outside, outside. This is off the beaten path. This was where, I want to say, Mago Fudo. That it was a team for Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. That team qualified out of this arcade. Let's take a look and see what it looks like now. All right, so right off the bat, elevators not working. Not a good sign. This whole thing used to be an amusement zone. Not there. Not a good sign. 
Okay. Right behind me, it's gonna be just like old times. A paradise where I could play whatever I desire, whatever my heart desires. Oh, nice. All detecting seven cabs right where I left them. Good shit. Okay. We're betting on horses. Okay, let's play some ST. Let's play some Thursday. Let's, let's play some CBS too. Let's play some H and K, boys. Let's play some. How's the bike ride going? Definitely like way slower than I was thinking, for sure. But we out there, man. I'm uh, I'm almost to Kotzdai. Kotzdai is the next stop up. Once we get to Kotzdai, that's like the last. Like I said, that's like the last bit of city, is what I would say. Whoa, butterfly! Man, I had a bike out here, and I was just like. I just want to go in, like, I was just going buck wild. Little did I know just how country this country was, but, uh, oh my God, bro, these bees, leave me alone. I'm not going to tell you again, bro. If I catch you out here at Pub Maria or Studio Mark II, you know with windows like that, you know what kind of shit goes down in there. Don't let me catch you over here, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is it. This is Kostada. So you guys can see it, right? Kostada Station. This is Kase Line. Remember what I was saying earlier. I used to go down. This is like when Exer is doing a sign. You go down here, that's the station. It's one shot to Taka and Ababa. So what I used to do is, I used to get off work around here, catch the train to Baba, go play, I would go play Sign and Mikado for like 45 minutes, catch the last train back. In my apartment, I'll show you. Yeah, it's the OG abode. This is the first, I, I want to say the first time I ever streamed was in that, uh, that apartment. Green Park. Woo! Bruh! We used to be out here. Damn, we used to be out here, bruh. We used to be out here, bruh. You know, we about to eat some dog shit food. But we about to pass out. So this looks good, right? Big ass sign, arcade and metal game. 
Do I need to disappoint you guys or what? Ah, oh, fuck it. I guess it's right there. Might as well. I oh, know. How many times have we ha have we had heartbreak today? Twice. What's one more? Just look it in the eye. Look it in the eye until I feel nothing. Arcade and metal game. So there's a reason why I lived here for, I want to say, a year and change or like a little bit or less than a year. I forget. And I don't think I went to this place two times. There's a reason why I never came here. They had Tekken, and to be honest with you, that's more than I was expecting. All right, folks. I'm gonna clock out for today. I think I'm gonna go uh, rest, rest up, and uh, charge my batteries. But thanks to everybody who's been hanging with. We're gonna get that Slurpee tomorrow, bro. Trust. We halfway there, bro. Halfway there. So look, right where we left off yesterday, I camped at a spot maybe like right outside that. Got everything charged up, and uh, I started riding. I rode. I'm like maybe a couple kilometers since then, cause I was like, let me. I'm gonna boot up at a convenience store. I'm gonna get coffee. We're gonna get it started. There have been no convenience stores between here and there. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but what I remembered, what I realized was, this used to be a convenience store. I used to work here. This used to be one of the schools I worked at. This is uh, Sakura Nishiga Nishikoko. One of my teaching jobs, I got fired because of this school. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I actually feel pretty good. Glutes and my, my, I put my glutes and my quads don't feel that bad. Honestly, it feels like I just had a light workout yesterday. The only bad thing about this area though, a lot of hills. So it's gonna be a lot of incline, decline. But look, if y'all ready to tap in, let's go. They haven't, damn, my shit fucked up, man. This was like, this place is like, Super hard to get to from that apartment. Do you remember that apartment I showed you guys yesterday? Um, the first apartment. I had the bike from there to here, and it was faster than the train. And this shit's like an hour and a half bike ride. And you had to be here at like 6.30, so that shit was, that shit was rough, bro. No, I got fired. I got fired because, you gotta understand, it's like I said in that YouTube video. Go pull up, go pull up the uh, English teachers are clowns and therapists uh, video. It's it's because of that. Like uh, you gotta understand, they'll treat you like shit here. You're supposed to dress like a million dollar man while you work basically a fucking McDonald's job. <laughs> oh yeah, we want you at the school at 6 a.m. Like, bro, that place is an hour and a half away. Why did y'all schedule me for this school instead of one that's closer to my place? And it's like, uh, you know, we don't have control. Blah blah blah. Like they got a million reasons. Like, bro, the place I worked last year, everything was cool. They were cool. I was cool. Everybody, like the student rap, like what? Well, why would you change that? Oh, well, you know, uh, reshuffle, blah, blah, Like, okay, bro. Basically, they got fed up that I was uh, showing up late. <laughs> but, you know, it's like it's like I said all that stuff. Uh, you got to realize a lot of these businesses and a lot of these, like, schools and shit, because of how saturated it is now as an industry or as a, you know, as a thing, it's highly competitive. So every school or company, they're like, our teachers are the finest and they, they show up and like so they'll end up just like selling you as a commodity have you doing the most dumb and insane shit it's uh it's it's crazy i told you i told you what did i tell y'all as soon as we leave cops to die i told you what was gonna now you're starting to see it right now we're on this fucking uh this is that Totoro shit. This is that. This is that you. Uh, this is that uh, Tenchi Muyo shit. I'm sure there are. So we hang right at this. What the fuck? That can't be there. No way that is. 
No, I'm supposed to go down there? Down here? No fucking, no way. <laughs> Bro, that's, that forest looks scary as hell. I ain't going in there. I'm just like, no way I'm going in there. This isn't even a, this isn't a road, is it? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. I ain't going down here. Are they for real? This is supposedly along the train line. This should look, that should look ominous, bro. I ain't feeling this. Oh, I'm a regret. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this shit. Oh, nah. <laughs> Why is it? Oh. Oh, nah. No, no. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a true country road. This, yeah, this is, this is some country ass shit. <laughs> this is some country ass shit. Bruh, look at how dangerous this is. Are you serious? So where the fuck am I? Oh, this is for real. This shit is mega country. <laughs> they still got graffiti out here, bro. Look at the bumpkin. The bumpkin's coming out tagging the bridge. I love that even where there is no culture, there is the, the culture. Bro, I gotta look at the map. I don't know where the fuck I am now. <laughs> my god damn, bro. Who said bottom, bro? This was an L. So we ride this. We're gonna pass a farm on the left. And we're gonna... Man, we going right through a cemetery. That's crazy. <laughs> we, we actually going right through a cemetery. <laughs> Oh, y'all got me fucked up. We going through a cemetery, then to a shrine, bro. We are fucking out of here, bro. We're done. We're, we're done. When you hear, when you hear like the frogs and shit, like <laughs> this is country, country. Can y'all hear that, bro? Look at this. No, bro. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Pretty steep. Not gonna lie, pretty steep. Oh, but I heard a twig snap. I heard a twig snap. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Is that a bird? What is that whooping sound? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can y'all hear that? Am I going up or down? What do you think? I'm going up, bro. It's like the fourth, fourth fucking graveyard I've been, I've, I've gone through. Dude, th this bottom path was the worst. This, I should have never put this in y'all's hands. Y'all got me going through fucking like four. I, I thought I was gonna get attacked by a bear because they said bear attacks been up like. Oh, oh, oh! What is that? What is that? Oh shit! Oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit dude in my mind i thought there was like a small fucking animal clinging to my back it was the cable for the camera she i noticed this with chiba especially because there's nothing else here right like they have tokyo they have disney scene odaiba and then like you gotta dig kind of deep for shit the flex on you know but to be honest with you, this is this is a japan thing anyway is like any kind of crop they have in an area, they flex it super hard. So, like, this area, the big shit is, like, strawberries, flowers in Sakura. It's, like, strawberries. A huge one, though, in Chiba is peanuts. There's a lot of, like, a lot of the peanuts out here, like, it's, there's a lot of peanut farms here. It's... So like they, how do I say this? They like, uh, they ham it up like super hard. If there's, if there's anything special about a place or anything they grow there, they ham that shit up super hard. Fuck the sidewalk, fuck the sidewalk. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, when I talk about like how shitty some of the sidewalks here, can y'all see this? This isn't even the worst kind of death trap you'll see. So like the way some of these gutters are, are lined up, they'll just have like some missing sometimes. So if you're biking at nighttime, and you can't really like see it that clearly if your light's not on or something, you just get fucked. You legit eat shit and die. Now there, these forest passages are like super common. It's even, it's even, I, honestly, they're really cool when you're, 
when you're driving on the highway because the way they'll do it is like uh it, it it's not a tunnel but it feels like a tunnel it's like you're going in between two hills they'll just cut a road in the middle of the hill see like you see shit like this in the country too it's like these motherfuckers are running restaurants and i'm not gonna lie brother they got that pink sign they probably do some nasty shit in there. They probably got Kendra. That's kind of, that's one of your spots. The skyline is like that's hard to fuck with, man. Supers come close. Super super pretty nice. Bro, what you know about when the sidewalk turns to grass? Cause like uh, didn't they have? There's like a strike in France. With a, oh shit! Oh god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. No way. Bro, there is no way they want you to go on this road. There's no way. There's no fucking way. So they want me to go down here. Nah, bro. We like we're swearing that off after after today, right? After this morning. Dude, I'm looking at like, dude, this is Silent Hill, bro. Like, no, like. Man, <laughs> I know this shit is about to be a mistake. No, bro, come on. Don't make me do this. <laughs> Don't make me do this, bro. This shit looks like a mistake. Y'all are fucked up people. <sighs> We're out here, man. <laughs> this is out here. Is that a rice farm? Yeah, they're uh, you drop, you you plant them like that. <sighs> Which way? <laughs> is it this way? They can't mean this way, right? Oh my God, they do. <laughs> uh, I guess this is a road. All right, fuck it. We're going. <laughs> We're going. This is like, it's really easy to get distracted with the like, the crazy shit, you know? Content corn and all that dumb shit. This is, uh, this is the real shit. We are outside right now. We are actually outside. But this is a park. People are out here. Got a baseball game? It is, it is a game. <laughs> it's actually a game. We're going to state! We're going to state! We're going to state! <laughs> this is a big-ass park, man. But this... This is what you get out in the countryside that you don't really get that much of in the city. Just, like, fields. It's so hard to just, like, find a, gra a grass field in Tokyo. This is so much of this country, though. I can't, like, stress that enough. Like, you, you remember we were talking earlier about, like, uh, like, Daytona, you know? Ha, Daytona is Daytona, but it's also, like, it's, like, 60% of the country, man. This is, like, so much of Japan. This. Cannot stress that enough. It's just, like, people just out here. <laughs> just, just like this. There's signs of life, signs of civilization over there. So let's go. I much prefer this to that fucking, uh, those dungeon forest fucking forest dungeon roads. I much prefer this shit. Hell yeah. I'll take this over the fucking forest any day. This is it. Wait till I see some shit I remember. Wait till I see some shit that looks familiar. This is it though. Ain't no more turns, no more crazy shit. This is it. Yokoshiba Station, this is it. So we're headed to Sosa now. Sosa's on the way. This is Yokoshiba Hikari. We're going from here to Sosa. Sosa to Asahi. Asahi is the old hood. That's where I first lived here. I lived there for two years when I first came to Japan. It depends on a few factors. 
Like, is the weather even good enough tomorrow? Hold on, now you see, man. I'm looking at the horizon. I see a little, see it lighting up a little bit. Clouds as far as the eye can see. Sun's still not out. I got straight fucking bamboozled. Lie to. You got an electric bike? Let me ask you something. What makes you think come in here and ask that? You from Hook and God stream? Wait, what, what, what made you ask that exactly? Bro, that's, that's that's a little suspect. Why are you coming here to randomly ask if I'm on an electric bike? The most electric thing on this bicycle is my phone, this backpack, and the batteries in my fucking body. This is why I can't respect most of you motherfuckers. Because that's insane for a Slurpee, my guy. It's insane for you. You're not, you're not built like us, bro. You're not built like us. Find the motor. Find the motor. You see a motor on this anywhere? Let's get a fucking Slurpee. Let's get a Slurpee. Ah. Ah. You're scaring the employees. Stop. Hotel Princess. Big house in two kilometers. Shouts to Smash Brothers. Big house in two kilometers. Where the Smash Brothers at? That's the real big house. Give the name back. Give the name back. That's the real big house. You know what you did. You know what you did. Give the name back. Oh, we close, close, bro. Like, smell that shit. You can smell that shit. We, we, we super close. This is the road, bro. This is Victory Road. Can I cross? Can I cross? Damn, bro, damn. Let me get it. Let me get it. Man, I know now. What I, what the fuck did I tell y'all, man? What the fuck did I tell y'all, bro? Where, where problem skater at? Skater. Skater. Skater, you see where I'm at, huh? You see where I'm at, huh? If you, if you sniff, you can smell the Slurpees. Half court dunk like it's NBA. I was about to. I was about to. But honestly, I'm so fucking tough. I'm afraid to jump. I'm afraid to jump as high as I can. Because I might not. It might not be pretty landing. <laughs> I'm actually afraid. <laughs> Hit one. Three point shot. Some point though. Three point. Go, go, go. Hi, hi. This for you, skater. Fuck you, skater. Fuck you, skater. <laughs> now here we fucking go, bruh. <laughs> no! Joy Club! No way! No! Bruh, I planned on staying there tonight! Wow! Damn! Is nothing sacred to these people? So they had like, uh, it was a manga cafe, but they had karaoke, karaoke, darts, uh, pool. Used to come here a lot, man. I still have my membership card. I brought my membership card. Oh my God. What have they done to my boy? That's crazy, man. I still have the card. I still have the card. Man, what? Dude, they took. That's crazy. There used to be a, a like bar, a hit spot. Over there, it's completely gone. What happened to Bar Gumbo? Bar Gumbo, watch. There is no room for you in this era. Damn, that's it right there. Check this out. Osagi Station. Like I said, you can pull up the video. This is it. 
This is country. You got one station, you got one train to catch this hour. You miss it, you're getting punished. You gotta wait another hour. I used to work right here. <laughs> I used to work right here. This is it in real time. Right next to a derelict fucking house. It has not changed in nine years. No one cuts it. That's the apartment right there, on top of a Juku. Oh, wow. This is a completely new house. A long way from these days, man. Just every day, your desires, your dreams, the things you care about. It's not that this place is bad, necessarily. It's just it's the setting. When everything that you live and operate on is so is for another man's dream, that shit is no way to live. Not for, I, not for me anyway. Pizza Willie. Pizza Willie. They're still going strong. Pizza Willie's still there. Yo, Willie's out for Pizza Willie. Let me get some hot dogs in chat. So this was like a dying mall years ago but it's got an eon attached to it so eon is like such a big like grocery store supermarket chain to where even if it's attached to something dying like that it can still be like oh this place still going strong bar uno still going still lit it used to go down in here man boat bar uno was uh that shit oh this if you watch that video this is where i passed out face down in the pool of my own throw up Y'all want to get sad again? Y'all want sad boy a little bit? They used to have a TVC in here. Fade Unlimited Code. TVC. SF4. SF4. What else? Tag 2. Let's see what we got now. Let's see what it looks like. What have they done? Where the cabs at? Bro, where the cabs at? Where the cabs at? Oh no. Hey, some things, some things do survive. Some things do survive. Some things do survive. It's enough lollygagging. Yeah, that's my, that's like that's the thing. It's just like it's over. That shit been over. Even when I was here, it was over. When I first came, it was over. It's just that slow death. Oh, I wonder. I'll tell y'all what. I'll take y'all upstairs. You see that that tall building over there? You can see it, uh, the one I'm pointing at, you can see it, right? You see that? I don't know if the camera quality is good enough. But you can see it over there. And right next to it, there's a small little dome looking thing. That's, uh, that's the hotel by the beach. That's where we're going. Hotel by the beach, and it's a small little onsen right next to it. But this is Aussie. This is it. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> Let me show you where I used to utterly destroy myself. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Here. Insane. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. That's a big boy. God damn. Look at that, just pure grass. You're not fucking with that, man. All right, man, all right, we'll go and get the Slurpee, relax.
but you know we gotta touch it. That's that's grass, boy. That's grass, boy. I know why you're here. 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 You see that 7-Eleven peeking up over the top? You know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. You saw that logo? Ah. Come on. You know what I came here for. Smoothies. This is a, uh, this is nostalgic. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. But anyway, we're about to get back on the road. We're going to the lighthouse. This is the most eastern point in Japan that we're going to. And we're only like 10 kilometers out, less than that actually, we're like 9.8. That is on a pretty high cliff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. So where we're going is the, the Inubosaki Lighthouse. If you look that up on Google, I-N-U-B-O-S-A-K-I, the Inubosaki Lighthouse. Right there. Left turn. <sighs> they gonna make us work for it. They gonna make us work for it. Yeah. I haven't been out here in like 10 years. We rode here from Tokyo. It's fucking crazy. Oh damn, people are down there. <laughs> you see, you see that? Crazy ride. Crazy. Stupid even. I still cannot believe I did this. I still cannot. I still cannot believe I fucking did this. Definitely one of the stupidest things I've done in my life. Let's go to the station. Let's go to the station. <laughs> racist ass dog, bro. That racist ass y'all. I know y'all saw that racist ass dog. Did y'all see that? Please tell me y'all saw that. GGS, everybody. Thanks for pulling up. <laughs> <laughs>